I think it's fair to say that the history of civilization is defined by periods in which we humans thought we had a pretty good handle on what was going on, punctuated by brief moments in which we realized we really didn't have a clue. And I think we're at one of those moments now. And I think it has to do with the internet and scale. In the 1960s, physicists thought they had a pretty good idea of what the universe was made of. But in 1967, American astronomer Vera Rubin was studying the rotational speed of the Andromeda galaxy. And she realized that the outermost planets and suns in that galaxy, the stars, were rotating way too fast for what she calculated the mass of the galaxy to be. And uh, doing an experiment on the Triangulum galaxy, which is 400 million billion light years across, she calculated that the outermost stars and planets were moving so quickly that it was as if there were 39 billion missing suns in the galaxy. So much mass that couldn't be seen or detected. Where was it? Well, Vera Rubin had discovered dark matter. And it's now believed that dark matter, matter which doesn't reflect or emit lighter radiation, now makes up most of the mass of the universe. And I think the internet now constitutes a kind of dark matter. It has a force and a mass and a capability to it that often can't be seen or detected by traditional kinds of business and organization working in traditional ways. I think that dark matter is mostly social, it's open, collaborative, participatory, it's peer-to-peer -peer and read-write, and it's right there in front of us. The TED conference served its one billionth video last year. Kickstarter gave away its one billionth dollar to start new creative projects. Wikipedia, the Wikimedia projects had their two billionth edit. And Reddit, routinely, month after month, serves over a hundred million unique users and over five billion page views. That's a lot of mass there. And if you look objectively at the way that most organizations and institutions try to accomplish their goals now, you couldn't help but conclude that they're not seeing this dark matter, this open, social, participatory web. So I know that Giannis is going to ask you all to think big thoughts over the next couple days. That's what he does. And I want you to think as big thoughts as you can think. Because I think that all of the outcomes you're seeking in your business life, in your personal life, in your, your education, what you want for your customers, what you want for each other, comes down to how well you're going to recognize and use the dark matter of the internet. And I'll leave you with one final story. Um, I recently met a young woman who ha owned a, a social media marketing firm that specialized in helping uh, environmental organizations to succeed. And I think this woman has an intrinsic understanding of the participatory open web. And she was pitching projects to these organizations, her clients, to get them to uh, rally effort and uh, community action towards the goals of the environmental organizations. And they, one of her clients stopped her and said, no, 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 we don't want any of that stuff. We just want you to build apps and web pages so that people can give us money. And we'll just keep doing the stuff we've always been doing. So this young woman fired her clients and asked herself this question. What would I do if the environment itself was my client. How could I best serve the environment itself? Not through working with traditional organizations or institutions, but 
I think, by utilizing the dark matter of the internet. And I think that's the question you need to ask yourselves over the next few days. How does the open, collaborative, participatory, social web help you get your jobs done? Help you build a better world? So, have a great conference, and I'll see you all around.